my channel till now you guys learn how to perform a fury application from the scratch in bas and also how to write opa and unit test cases and how to create a destinations these all things you learned in the bas so today's is an interesting topic that is extending and standard fury application so in today's concept i will explain you sap uif flexibility adapt ui as a key user and adapt ui as a developer so before going to start our flexibility first in which cases will extend our fury application everyone has these doubts right so as a developer we all know so many standard fury some thousands of standard fury applications will be there but based on our customer requirement we are extending our applications so here comes under sap uif flexibility in sap uif flexibility as three different sections that is end user section and key user section and developer section when it comes to end user section that means for example i have one application to create a form in that form if i want to do some minimal changes that means you can see i want to change the column name or i want to change the form d uh, headlines for or else if i want to personalize the cards in my overview pages these are some minimal changes as a end user itself will do by using an adapt ui that means there is no dependency for the developer and for this there is no not required for a programmical or technical knowledge so these things everyone can do when it comes to key user section key user section we can consider it as an example of solution team what solution team will do they will give an connectivity for the end user and the developer so they will gather the information or they will design something and they will tell us what to do so here we can consider it key user is a solution in case some minimal changes for example if i if section had want to add some more extra fields or if they want to embed some external content these all things end user will do without knowledge of our programming things and they can assign it to this to the multiple users also next comes under the developer section developer section means you want to add complex logic that means i want to create some extra pages and i want to perform some actions or i want to ex extend the things from one point to another point that means i want to the complete some complex performing operations this all things as usual develop has to extend the applications so first and key user and also end user both will do as an adapt ui changes for that this is one of the public link i will provide you register within this link and you can practice your adapt ui how to do the changes here i will share you this example also to practice your ui changes the next one is adapt ui as a developer this one default as you know the extension of fury application we, till now we did in web id in this one i will show you how to extend an fury application by using adaption project in the bas before going to our real time data here you can see the sap ufa flexibility if you see already we have sap layer on top of this it's an customer layer the customer layer means as a developer key user end user we can do the changes based on our requirements and we can maintain our things and if you maintain the structure for the future who use it won't impact that means if you update your system also the key user changes and end user changes will also update so it won't, there is no impact when it comes to developer sections it will impact but if you maintain it as an some saving as it as a new z data your services will update but your ui elements may not work so now let's go to the data for that what you have to do is just open this url yes this is the url copy it and paste it to your 
browser. So once you log into your browser here it will ask the username password once you register it will ask you the username and password so already i registered this i will share you this link to my description section please register and you can practice your adapt your and also extend the standard fury application so this is once i log in our fury launchpad what you can do is once you log in your system here we can we can see two sections what you have to select is select fury launchpad so once you log in it here here we have manage pro projects that things we can see it here and click on it then we will start our adapt ui operations how to perform it as a key user so before going to do our actions what you have to do is first see things yeah now you can see right this is the manage products what i will do is select your profile here we have an option called adapt ui once you click on the adapt ui here you can see adapt ui and the navigation section so first what i can do is uh, i will go to sec if you want to add it you can add it or what I will do is I will change this name for that this section we need to select add show the details if you want to click it will show that see that means the new tab is added but nothing will be there if you want to delete it you can delete it like this so next what I will do is I will navigate it to the details page and I will do the further actions. Let's navigate the screen. Oh, sorry. To perform actions we need to save. Then let's navigate it. Now I navigated. Then click on again adapt UI from the profile here. I will delete this availability next what I will do is here this is the form data here I will add one more for that add suppliers now within the form added one more in case if I want to delete this section click on delete now if you see that note section is deleted yeah in case if you want to rename it you can rename now i'll rename it as an invent like that's it so you guys know right how to add the fields and sections in case in the table if you want to add a column that one also you can add it here select add column here i will add the column quantity okay now you can see the quantity column if you want to move these positions also you can move it like this so these are the some simple changes that means adding the column adding the fields renaming the sections in case if i want to add one more section here that means one more tab if i want to add how to do means right click add a section notes we can add it or else i want to add it as an embedded tag c that means this is customization tag already existing one water things i removed that one i don't want now i want to add a section for that we have to do is here we have to maintain some width i will maintain width like this height some 250 pixel yeah here copy some url uh, let's take this public url simply and paste it here for this i want to add a price super so before going to save show the preview if you see this is the url have you seen here same thing now click on save 
now what will ha happen is the embedded content new tab section is added so i will rename this one as a price so now you can see all changes what i did like this way we can add your sections and everything once you did your change sections what you have to do is save and exit so to your for already we did all these changes in your detail page now i want to save it for that future use for that what i can do click go on save as now maintain it uh, as a price so this is the new content i added right so i maintain this name it as a price if you want to show it as a public or you can if you want to set it as a default that means instead of showing our standard one you want to see one this one as a default or you want to apply your changes automatically it will apply so what will happen all users can see these changes automatically like this we can perform all our actions see now the price tag is there now you don't want to go this you want to see your standard default one also you can see that here so like this way we can do our adapt ui changes so now you guys know right how to use your adapt so this these things key user can do and end user can do developers also can do this so but this simple minimal changes without supporting the developers they can do it in my next video i will show you how to extend my standard fury application that means how to perform as an adaption project in the bas i will explain my, to my next video so if you have any doubts don't forget to comment me if you like the video don't forget to like share and subscribe thank you for watching